Hello and welcome to this mini-series on productivity in Webflow. I'm Emmanuel from FinSuite and in this video series I'm going to share with you short tips and tricks that will help you become a better and more efficient Webflow developer. So the first tip I'm going to give you is to start using the Finder. With the Finder you can add elements, symbols, collections to your pages way quicker than by opening the respective panel and drag and dropping things inside. So how do you access the finder? You can click here. However, the fastest way is by using the shortcut. Control plus E or Command plus E on Mac. You could also use Command plus K, whatever works best for you. Okay, now that we have the finder, what can we do with it? We can find anything and add anything to our page. We can add a section, a container. We can also add a symbol like a global styles, or we could even add collections. So any element you can think of, you can drop it on the page. You can also navigate through the pages. So instead of opening the pages panel, you can simply navigate to home this way. However, there is also a little known feature that's hidden here in the settings. You can also enable adding assets and selecting elements on the page. So let's have a look at both. For example, here I can now search for images. If I named my images semantically, then I can access these images. So for example, I can add the customer support image right from the finder. I could also find elements on my page. To do that, we have to navigate first to another page here where we have some elements and let's just search for a section. There we go, section home header and I have it selected. So that's the tip number one and tip number two is closely related to the finder. Let's have a look at that. Let's open our finder, go back to our showcase page and now we're going to use another shortcut as well. So we're gonna add a section element and with control and return or command return on Mac, you can add a class to your section. So we're gonna write section showcase hero. And inside of that, I could drop in a container. I could drop in a div block and here, with control enter, I can just add classes. Now, what happens if you want to rename the latest class? Let's have a look at this. Let's say for some reason I wanted to rename padding huge to padding very big. I would click control, shift, and return. And this way I can simply rename the class to whatever I want. Now, I'm not going to do this in this case because it's not following our naming convention, so I'm going to leave it as is. With these two tips, once you get used to this workflow, you're going to build sites way, way faster. That's tip number one and tip number two. I hope you enjoyed this and write down in the comments below what are some tips that are the biggest time savers in your workflow. Thanks for watching and see you next time.